Hey everybody, so I have been gone a minute. I've been dealing with uh, work and also trying to work with my daughter in her schoolwork because obviously everyone knows during this time kids are at home and we have to work with them for school. So I'm back, I feel refreshed and I wanna do a reading for why your person is not coming towards you and what are their thoughts. So this is just a general for all signs, anybody that needs it right now. Let me move this, um, this is my daughter's tooth. I don't know why it's here. Um, <laughs> but just think about your person. Um, make sure that you do think about your own intuition. So whatever you feel, go with that. That's usually always correct. But um, please do not use this reading to make any like major life decisions because of course you are in control of your life. This is just meant to kind of bring some awareness to you about situations that you may already know about. Because like I said, intuition is very strong. And I think that a lot of us don't believe um, our intuition or we try to change how we're feeling about a situation when we know we need to go along with what we are actually feeling. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. So what is your person or what is the reason your person is not coming towards you and what are their thoughts? I probably worded it different, but let's go ahead and get some background messages here. <clears throat> so we have victory and success. We have authority. And one more. And patience. <clears throat> so we have victory, authority, and patience. These are the main um, messages as to why your person is not coming towards you. So for whoever is watching this right now, this could be that whoever you're dealing with is trying to focus on their own success right now. So they're being a little bit selfish towards themselves. They're trying to work towards something. So it could be that they're trying to work towards a job. They're trying to work towards their inner self, um, trying to be a better person because they're trying to take charge is what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling from this. And they want to be successful, but it's going to require patience. And so they know that things aren't just going to happen. And this could also be a message to you, the viewer, to have patience for this person. But of course, that's only if you want to. And that's kind of what I'm picking up right now. Like they're trying to be patient in this situation or hope that you have patience with them. But that is what this person is um, dealing with right now. They're trying to figure out their life, whether it be income related or, um, sorry, somebody's on my side my window. Whether it be income related or um, personal life situation, but they're trying to focus on themselves right now. All right, so let's get more into this. And you know, you know, if you're a person, if you're willing to wait on them, you, some of you may have been waiting forever, but it's completely up to you. But I really feel like that's what the overall energy is, is that your person is trying to work on themselves and they don't have the capability at this time to make a major decision to come forward towards you as far as love is concerned or even talking but it's just so why is the this person not coming for me I think we already have one popped over Okay, I think these were from previous, so I'm not going to take these. I had some flipped over from before. Why is the viewer's person not coming towards him? Okay. So 
I have three of cups, four of cups, six of pentacles, page of wands in the reverse. Three of swords, page of pentacles. I'm gonna do two more. Oops, too much. These cards are flimsy. I got these at five below, y'all. I'm using these instead of my modern witch tarot because the modern witch tarot are like really difficult to fit in my hand. So I might use that for like clarifying. Okay, we have the moon. I seen that earlier. It just didn't, it was came out with like a big stack. So <clears throat> one more please for yours of why their person is not coming towards them. All right. there all right so give me a second here okay so your person is not coming forward because first of all they're immature they really are undecided they don't know what they want and they're being deceptive because we have deception here with the moon card and the three of swords so it says emotions up or down. So with the moon card and three of, um, I'm sorry, three of swords, <laughs> your person is being deceptive about something. So they could be hiding how they feel towards you or they could be hiding that they're with someone else right now um, or that they're in a situation. They're not wanting you to know about it, basically. And I feel that because of this page of pentacles being here, they're not handling it maturely. So they're not coming forward and speaking this to you. Um, I really don't see much of um, communication here. So you guys probably are not talking right now. But because of what is going on with this person, they distance themselves from you. I see the Four of Cups, which is about someone that's sulking. So they're not getting things. Things aren't going the way that they want it to go. And with the Six of Pentacles, it's all about money. I see money here. So they could be having issues with their money, their finances. And that's why I said that they're trying to um, work on themselves and possibly do something that's going to set themselves up. Like as far as, you know, taking control of their life. So this all could be stuff that's going on within your person's head. Um, they are wanting the Ten of Pentacles. I'm not sure if they're working now or if maybe they have opportunity for something and maybe they're thinking that through but with the six of pentacles and ten of pentacles this is someone that possibly has in their past given to others and we're talking about in a love situation given to others and gotten nothing in return and so now they're trying to do things differently also with this three of cups and the three of swords it could be that like i said they're dealing with someone else and they're just content and happy with the situation that they're in and i know that sounds ugly but some people are okay with you know dealing with multiple people and they don't care about how those individuals feel because they try to hide that stuff from them which like i said that could be the reason why the moon card is here um and then with the page of wands in reverse, they're not coming forward. They're not traveling towards you. They're not talking to you. So they're just over here dealing with money issues and possibly bouncing around with multiple people is what I'm getting from this. So this person is probably hiding a lot of stuff from you. And you may have, you may have felt this about this person um, it's a possibility that you did feel that something was off because that's what's pulling up here. Like this three of swords, I hate seeing that. And it doesn't always have to be third party situations, but it does consist of a broken heart. So maybe something occurred with you or someone else that has them in their feelings and they're not mature enough to handle it. So the way that they handle it is by cutting everyone off. Um, maybe they don't feel like they're good enough. And that's why they're sulking with the Four of Cups. 
So it's a lot of emotional type stuff here. We have emotion, we have money, we have um, deceptive, deceptive waves, ways, immaturity. Let me see if I can get something else. I mean, that pretty much explains everything as to why your person's not coming forward or towards you. And the quarantine actually doesn't make it any better either, but this person is trying to work on themselves. They're trying to wait it out with this patience card being here, or they're asking that you be patient. I'm really getting that, that they want you to be patient towards them in this time. Oops. All right, so we have five of cups. So it says, um, yeah, someone feeling like they're losing out on something that goes along with the five of cups, more emotion. So this person is in an emotional state right now. They're feeling all types of emotions and they can't focus just on you solely because of all this other stuff. And it has something to do with their money. They feel like they've lost out on things. We have the seven of cups, more cups. Um, so this person is having financial issues. And it could be that in their past, they've overspent or they've done stuff with their money instead of saving. And now they're in a situation where they don't have money and they may be losing out on a lot of stuff. So they're kind of in their feelings about it. They're in a depressive depressed type of mood is what i'm feeling like they just feel like giving up we have two of cups here as well like they want this could be you i don't want to specifically say you it could be the other person as well but it could be possible that this person sorry does, everybody got cut off i don't know why it does that um but it could be possible that this person does want something with you as far as the two of cups being here but we also have the three of swords so they're probably juggling trying to figure out what's their best option you could be someone that they know they would have a prosperous life with with the ten of pentacles type of life they wouldn't have to worry about finances they know that you not saying that they would use you but they know that you are a secure thing and i kind of feel like the other person may be more um accepting of uh, accepting by accepted by their family sorry they could be more accepted by the family because it could be someone that they have known for a minute but they do want to have some type of peace with this situation like this is really on their mind heavy as far as you know this connection that you guys have um on top of everything else so they they may actually see you as someone that is very stable they're just afraid at this time to come forward because they're not in their best they're not in at their best so they know that you would probably be looking at them like what are you coming towards me for you ain't you don't have anything so now that you're down and out you want me so that's what i'm thinking of um with that type of situation um also we have temperance so money restrictions again talking about money trying to find a balance between finances in a relationship i really don't see much of a relationship other than two of cups being here like this person wants to be in a relationship is what i'm feeling they want to be peaceful but they're just battling a lot within themselves so i don't know if you guys had some situations that arose or they had something come up but i really feel like the money situation is the root of why they're not feeling at their best and I think they're probably just getting content. It says the three of cups, um, you know, things looking up. So that could be a message for them that things are going to improve, but this person needs to get out of that like funk of feeling like they're not good enough and make something happen. Like that's what the immaturity is coming in. They're not processing it properly. And they're expecting you to be patient with them and wait on them. But it's like you, I'm feeling like you've dealt with this for a minute. You could have been someone that dealt with this for a minute or maybe you don't know about this person having others or you had some type of idea that that could have been a possibility but it's kind of like this person is dealing with like their karma coming back because all the stuff that they've done to you or to make you feel bad is coming back to them and they're feeling that right now 
And it's because um, they equate their finances being financially stable with their self-esteem. And they have low self-esteem right now because nothing is going right for them. That's what I'm picking up. <clears throat> Oops. Wow. I didn't shuffle it. So why is your person not coming towards you? And what are their thoughts? So let's look at the romance angels here and see if there's anything else so we have getting to know each other in reverse so this person like I said is cut off communication they're not discussing anything with you we have worth waiting for and patience so worth waiting for is in the reverse So I kind of feel with the worth waiting for being in the reverse, it may be that the universe is telling you to move on. I know people don't want to hear that, but based off of what's going on with this person, they're not even they're not even thinking about you. They're not communicating, they're not reaching out, they're not letting you know anything. And they're handling this whole situation very immaturely. And so with the worth of waiting for, they're basically saying, keep your options open. That's what I'm going to say with this. Um, it's asking for patience. This person's asking for you to be patient with them or universe is telling them to be patient, whichever way you want to take that. But with this coming out too, it's kind of like keeping your options open because you don't want to hold off and wait on someone that in the end may never come out of this. And they'll drag you along with them. We have do love. So. Then they have this stuff right there. Um, so new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So like I said a few minutes ago, keeping your options open. It's a possibility that someone new is going to come in. And I know that that's something that's scary. Because this person you may have had a lot of dealings with. And have... Um, you know, just how to build some type of connection with them. But this person is obviously not putting you or your feelings first about anything. So it's kind of like I said, keep your options open. So it's up to you if you want to wait and be patient on this person and still stick in their corner. But you may have something new coming in that you may miss out on because you're waiting. And also new love could be them too. It could be that right now is not the time. Yeah, it says worth the worth waiting for is in reverse. So getting to know you each other is in the reverse. So this person's not open to you. And so it could be that way down the line they can come in with new love, but I really feel like this more so of an actual new love. Like it's <laughs> the universe is saying like you've done all you could do with this person. That you've done all you can do with this person and there's nothing left. We have true love that followed new love. So this next person that you meet could actually be the person that you're meant to be with. This other guy or female, I don't know why I want to say guy. I'm so used to saying it. This other person that you were dealing with could have been someone that was just meant to teach you a lesson or you to teach them a lesson. But they're just not out of their immature ways. Like... And I don't even feel like this person's young either. Like maybe late 20s, early 30s. So they should have had their maturity come in to play already. Playfulness. So this right here, I feel like these are messages for you. So playfulness came out to recapture romance allow your inner self and i'm sorry inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so you probably were hung up on this person and it's kind of like you got complacent so i really feel like this is just saying like get out there and flirt 
Um, I know there's not really put many places you can go right now, but maybe online, like just test the waters, you know, get out there and get comfortable with talking to other people. So that way you can meet your new love that's coming through. Cause I really feel like that's what it's saying is that you have to end up moving on. And then we have the retreat that came out in reverse. So it's talking about in the upright, it's talking about um, disconnecting from the world. So we've all had that chance already. So I feel like now that things are going to be opening up, it's time for you to come out of your shell, come out of how you were and start new. This should have had time for you to really think about what it is that you want out of life. <clears throat> this came out as well. Keep an open mind. So your soulmate may differ from your usual expectations. So maybe it's time for you to start opening up the idea that anybody could be a new love. Like try and get to know them. I know attraction is something that captures people. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you you have to get with someone that you feel is ugly. But maybe talk to people and really try to get to know their spirit instead of their physical. That's what that's um, pretty much telling me. One more card. And then we'll get into how your person is feeling towards you. With my cards that I made. Oh, that's too much. One more card. Yeah. Alright, so we have religious factors. Uh, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this is about differences. And what I said earlier is that if there's a third party situation with this, since we have the three of swords, this person is weighing their options between you and someone else. And the other person I feel is someone that they feel more comfortable with bringing around their family. And maybe you, you're like seen as somebody that they really want, but they know your family may not approve. Um, their family, I'm sorry. Their family may not approve of you because it could be because um, your religion is different or it could be because you have a different type of job or a job or something is different to where they know that your fam their family would not accept you. Sorry, my hand's all in the... Oops. All right, so let's go ahead and get some more information about this connection here. With these ones, I don't really read in the reverse because there's enough positive and negative it's going to go along with like the reading these cards are so small the reader's person is not coming forward All right, so we have love call. It says someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So this person thinks about you. That's not no questionnaire about that. Two more cards. So we have love call. This is the first one that came out. So like I said, it says someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So this could be the person that we're talking about or it could be someone new or someone that you've been talking to alongside. Because like I said, some of you have already known how this person operates 
And so you were possibly keeping your options open and maybe there was another person that came along, but you were still connected emotionally to this other person. So that could be this person coming in telling you love call or expressing themselves to you because like I said, there was a lot of cups here, which is all about emotion. So this person has been thinking about you. Um, healing heart came out as well. Healing from heartbreak, heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So your person could be, like I said, with someone else that is not like you, which is a good thing. Like this person is draining to them and they're not, I don't know if it's like a, I don't know if it's like an intimate relationship or if it's like a family member or something. I'm trying to figure out that. If it is an intimate relationship, this person is not someone that they can see themselves with. Maybe they just got with them because they were accepted by the family, like I said, or they were offering, you know, to house them or feed them or something, something that they needed that they knew, knew you would not give to them or they don't want to appear weak to you. So it's okay for them to do it with someone else because they don't really care about them. Does that make sense? Um, we also have separation. So like I said, um, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So like I said earlier, you guys are not in communication. You're in separation, um, which was brought on by the coron the coronavirus situation, but also with themselves because this is something that this person, I feel, does often. So they are thinking about you. That's twice that it's saying that. So that you're on this person's mind. And I feel like they're just immature. Like they're not just coming out and saying it. Instead, they want you to either figure it out or they're hoping that you could do something bad so that way they can make a decision. Oh, well, I, I knew this person was going to do that. So that's that mature, immature type of thought process that I don't really like. Like if you have something to say, just say it. Then you have not enough. So frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. So this person feels like they're not enough for you and i had said that i believe earlier as well they don't feel like they're enough for you so they end up self-sabotaging so by them going into separation mode stopping not talking to you those are methods that they use to try and get you to move away from them and i just said a, a few minutes ago that that's usually what this type of person does like they don't they want you to be the bad person so they don't have to be they're not confident because they're not financially stable right now. They know you are, but they're not. And we have cassette. So they have outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in their head. So they're constantly cycling through like, well, how do I get this person back? Or what, it, what can I do? Is it going to work? So they're in a mental conflict right now on top of all this other stuff that's going on. But the thing is, is that they can make a decision it's just they're very immature. They don't know how to communicate or they don't want to communicate, I should say, because everybody knows how to communicate. It's just sometimes it can come off differently. Um, we have the boat. So receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on and closure issues. So it could be that this person, even though they have like feelings towards you and, you know, they're missing you right now, maybe they feel that this relationship would never move forward because what the boat is talking about moving on having closure issues so this person is not able to close things out it's kind of like they keep things going and that's why they put themselves and other people in third party situations because they don't know how to end things and it could be for selfish reasons reasons it could be that they don't want to end it because they may come back to you later on after they've dealt with this other person and got tired of them but you don't want to be someone waiting in the wings just for that one person and skipping over your new love or your true love that's coming through. So that's why we, you know, universe is recommending you keep an open mind because you don't know what is going to come through. You don't want to put all your energy into someone that's not putting the energy into you. So let's look into this person's thought process and what their thoughts are as of the time that you're watching this video. So think about your person what is the thought process what are they thinking and these are cards i made myself in the night i just got bored i made them on index cards so what is this person thinking towards my viewers i'm probably gonna get oops, six of these as well
All right, so we have I Wanna Rub Your Back. You Don't Know What You Do To Me. We have Cancer, so this could be them, this could be you, or someone could have this in their chart. You heal me when I need it. So this person likes the fact that you make them feel good about themselves. And that could be another reason why they keep you around. Because they know genuinely that you care, but they're not ready for that yet. That's why I said like earlier, the Three of Cups, I'm um, talking about being happy. They're content with the fact that they don't want to have anything serious possibly, but they also want to keep you around because they know that you, when they're with you, you give them a feeling of like security and genuine care. I want to call you. So like I said earlier with the love call, this person wants to call you. They're holding back for some reason. Um, I will come back to you. So this goes back to that patience. They're asking you to be patient with them because they will come back to you after they sort this, but there's no time frame. So like I said, keep an open mind if you want to or wait around if you want to. You could be waiting forever. This will not work. So I said earlier, this person may realize that this will not work because they're not they're not fully healed within themselves and they're worried about what other people think so with that boat closure issues they have closure issues because they see the good in you but they're also telling themselves this will not work or they could be saying that the situation with this other person will not work or the third party situation is not going to work because eventually somebody's going to bow out and leave and they're not going to be you know, involved in that. A lot came out here. So this person is very, very conflicted and it's almost like they change their mind often about how they feel. So that this will not work could be that they feel it won't work with you because they don't have anything to offer you and they see you as somebody that is secure within themselves. One more card. Or this will not work with keeping up with too many people or even with their finance, financial situation. So that this will not work can go multiple ways. Doesn't necessarily say that it won't work with you, but you know, the fact that it's saying that they will come back to you means that they're not with you now and there's no time frame of when they'll come back. I'm envious of you. So like I said earlier, this could be a reason why this person does not want to make anything official with you and says that this will not work. It kind of clarifies that now because they are envious of you. They feel like you have everything figured out. You have everything going for yourself. They have nothing to offer you. So they look in the background like, dang, this girl has everything. You know, they get mad because it's like, wow, I really want to be with her. But, you know, why would she want me? So they probably talk badly towards themselves, like low self-esteem with this situation. They're angry or envious, I should say, jealous of your situation because you have things going for yourself. But that all comes down to maturity levels and the fact that you made things happen for yourself. This person is choosing not to. And they can't be mad at someone else for the hard work that they put in. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. And I hope that this made some type of sense towards you or to you. <laughs> um, so this was the reading for what your why your person is not coming towards you. And what are their thoughts towards you? Um... So if you did like this, please comment, like, subscribe. Um, I'm going to probably do the monthly readings for all the signs. I haven't done that in a minute, so I'm going to do them for May. I'm probably going to start off with Capricorn, but I may just go in order. But like I said, if you did like this, please let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.